Hey Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's module customizer. So the module customizer, much like the theme customizer, um, allows you to set global settings for all of your modules site-wide. So this is a great way to create default settings so that every time you load a module onto a page, it's already got some of the basic design elements that you're gonna want. And we're gonna show you how to do that in this video, so stay tuned and check it out. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Divi Module Customizer. The Module Customizer gives you the ability to easily change something about a specific module across your entire website. So setting these default settings for each module can actually save you time so that you won't have to worry about making those changes each time you use the module when building your site. So as you can see, I have my Module Customizer deployed here. Um, but in order to find it, uh, you can actually go two places to get it. Uh, from your WordPress dashboard, you can find it in the sidebar here under Divi. Um, and then find your uh, module customizer there. And then that will deploy your module customizer by default on whatever your home page is. Um, but let's say you wanted to go to your um, another page simply navigate to that page and I can find my in the top bar here I can choose the, the module customizer here and that will deploy the, the customizer for this specific page that I'm on so that you can see in real time what those changes may look like for specific modules that you're actually making changes to and so that's what I'm going to do right now so I have my module customizer deployed and I'm currently uh, have a landing page here with a, you know, a number of different modules so we can get a good feel as to what this module customizer can do as we make changes. So you can find all of your modules that are customizable here on the left side inside the customizer. And much like the theme customizer comes, you know, your options to import or export your settings if you have you know, uh, your module customizer settings set the way you want them to. And uh, you can also always do that. Uh, you can, of course, save and publish your settings here. Um, exit out of your customizer. You also have the option of changing your theme as you preview. Um, and you can hide, hide the controls here at the bottom. And then toggle to your mobile devices as you can view your modules in different uh, browser widths. All right. Let's go ahead and restore our default settings just to be sure. And let's take a look at some of these modules. Uh, as I scroll down, uh, I can see that I have some blurbs here. So I'll go here to my module customizer settings. I'll find the blurb module click on it and you can see that I can I have the option of changing my header font size and this will become the new default setting for all of my blurbs which can also be overridden once I actually add the module to my website if I wanted to so this just changes the default most of these settings will be limited to you know text uh, sizes and, and line height and spacing, more of your higher level options instead of you know your more specific styling which would take place in the actual module settings. Uh, let's see, this is a call to action here. Let's go to our call to action module settings and you can see we can change the header font size and you know change it the style of it as well. And that's really all you have for the call to action, but a helpful setting to change if you know that you're going to have that same style throughout your website. Going down, you can see there's a number counter here. Um, you can also go in and change the, the number font size if you would like um, to whatever it is that you want. Um, also change the number font style, make it bold or not and then the title 
the title font size underneath as well. Moving on, let's see, it looks like we have an image uh, module here. Uh, for the image module, really the only uh, setting that you can make a default is the animation uh, that, it, that happens um, when you scroll down to view it on the page. Uh, the shop module would, you know, take place if you had WooCommerce or something installed and you had an actual shop. Uh, you can change all of these uh, defaults here, like the price, sales price font, uh, that, that sales badge that shows up on your pro products, um, featured products. You can change those. Um, your divider, this may be... Uh, a helpful feature. Uh, this right here is my divider line that I'm uh, had customized here, but you can style it here, like uh, give it uh, always to show your divider by default and make it solid by default. I think it is already, but you can change that. And your divider weights can be changed as well. This would be useful, you know, because you are going to be using a lot of dividers um, throughout your website, and it may be more convenient to set the defaults here rather than doing it uh, on a per module basis and having to, you know, copy and paste it or duplicate it throughout your site. And of course, when you're done, don't forget to save and publish your settings. And uh, there's a there's your overview of the module customizer.